All right, I'm going to the shop. I love you, bitch. Love you, bitch. Oh shit, what is this? Oh yeah, it's my, my new broom. <laughs> Got a big ass broom. Do you have something you can say to me, Jax? Hey, shut up. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was this? Hi. Oh, these things are so big. We got some wheels, boys. We got some wheels and tires. Uh, what are these? 325-50R22. Did I, did I go with 22s? I thought I was gonna go with 24s. Nah, 22 sounds right. Yo, look at my, look at how many miles are on this truck. Four, 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 four. Man, I got me some wheels and tires. You guys know me, I, I keep my, my circle pretty small with companies that I try to work with as best I can. But my guys over at Custom Offsets, my buddy Brandon, who was like, hey man, just let me know if you ever need any wheels and tires for anything, you know? And I'm like, man, trust me, I've always got something that needs some wheels and tires. He was like, what about your Ram? And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna probably sell it for the Gladiator. One thing led to another, obviously, the Gladiator actually has already been sold through 74 Auto. Just couldn't make it work, man. I really wanted to, uh, but then the coronavirus thing happens. You know, you know how things are, man. Shut down everything. It was just, just not good timing. But don't worry, man, 74 Auto and I, we're still, we're still on great terms. And we'll be doing more stuff in the future, just uh, hopefully not when a virus strikes. But now that I'm not gonna sell the Ram, I was like, hey, man, listen, Ram needs some wheels and tires if you guys want. And they're like, done, what do you want? And you know me, man, I'm more of a big tire guy. I'm more of a big tire, small wheel kind of guy. I like 17s, 15s for trucks. Uh, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna go something different. I'm gonna go a little different. He sent me a list and he was like, pick out what you want. And I was like, all right. So now I got wheels and tires. So they hooked it up with some wheels and tires. Make sure to use the link in the description if you get some wheels. This is gonna sound like a total plug as well, but it's not. Uh, when I was using to pick out the wheels I wanted on their website, you can browse their gallery and see, you know, who's running what settings on what cars, and it'll tell you what lift, what tires, what wheels, what the offset is, and you can kind of mimic that, or you can you can use it to choose different wheels of your own. I mean, that was what was really convenient for me. So I got I was able to see what other people were running and decided what I liked and what I didn't like because. There's a lot of times you look at some wheels online, you're like, man, those look so fucking cool. I can't wait to get those on my car. And then you get them on your car and you're like, uh-uh, that's not what I wanted. But that was really useful because then I was able to choose exactly what I wanted. So I was actually just going to go drop these off because I don't have my lift. They're, I've got like a big ass lift showing up. Um, I'm going to delete the air ride. I can't wait to tell you guys all about that shit. You have to. It's gonna be. I think it's going to be a six or an eight inch lift. I don't know. But it gets rid of the air ride completely, which is the main reason I bought this truck in the first place, right? So I'm sure you guys are gonna give me tons of shit for that. But yeah, so the lift isn't here yet. It'll be here in like a week or so. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. These, these wheels and tires aren't that much bigger than what I have on here now. So I'm gonna see if I can fit them on without the lift and see if they look ridiculous. But again, this is a little bit different of a wheel and tire combo than I would have gone with. So I'm just trying out new stuff, man. I see, I see different people running different things and I've always thought to myself, you know, it's like, I like that. It's not my style, but I like that. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna reach outside of my comfort zone on a type of like wheel and tire size and setup. So don't be too mean to Whittle Well Dan. Also, you know how I told you that Corey has moved in with us recently? Well, he fucking brought these things into our house, right? Which are LaCroix, the spicy water, it tastes like TV static. It tastes like you're drinking carbonated water and a fruit truck rolls by and you're like, mm, yeah, that's mango. Ugh, they taste so bad, but I can't stop fucking drinking them. All right. I need to move the dually out of here. Uh, but before I do that, man, you know, I put up these LEDs, these LED lights up here for my banners and stuff like that, and I like them. But the problem is, is like, I'm pretty sure they're giving me headaches. I'm pretty sure the type of LEDs that I've been using up there have been giving me like nausea headaches.
with my adorable little truck. Alright man, here we go. Look at these freaking things. Oops. I just sat on I just sat on my card cleaner bottle and went on my ass. There you go. TIS Off-Road is the name of the the wheel brand. That's the wheel and tire combo I decided to go with, man. I know it's not my style. It's not normally it's not normally like my my type of wheel, right? The lift kit still isn't here. Um, but I am gonna, I am gonna throw these on and see if they fit. I know they won't, but uh, let's see, let's see the specs. Amp tires, terrain attack, 325, 50, 22s, yeah. Okay, I went with 22s. Those are 18s or 17s, I believe. When I first got them, I was like, there's no way that they're gonna fit, and they're probably not, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna put my wheels and tires on without my lift kit. It's not the height that I'm worried about clearing, it's the width. These are much wider tires. I mean, damn, I kind of hope it fits. I love the way that looks. Oh man, let's lower this bitch and see how low she sits. Look how fucking wide that is. Oh. Now nah, that fits, that totally fits. We're good, we're so fine. We'll be okay. Dude, this is gonna work. Yo, that looks so good. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good! <laughs> I knew, man, I knew I was gonna really appreciate this once I swapped. That is a good fucking looking wheel and tire. I almost hope that it fits without a lift, and I hope that the lift doesn't come. That looks fucking sick! Alright, let's try turning it. Let's try turning that wheel. Alright, I'm gonna use this camera to see if she... Damn! Damn, boy! <laughs> She's thick! <laughs> I don't have the keys on me, do I? A little bit of a height difference, too. That's good, buddy. That's fine. That's that's fine. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. That's full lock. And she barely tucks. I'll have to trim that, I'm sure. <laughs> that's full lock right there. So we'll just avoid full lock. We'll just avoid full lock until the thing comes, you know? We're throwing the rest of them on. Fuck it. That looks so good. <laughs> that looks so stupid good.
damn, boy. Jesus Christ, those look great. And they're aggressive. I mean, that's got to be... That's gotta be four or five inches sticking out from the body. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted an aggressive stance too. I forget what inch lift the lift kit is that's coming. I think it's a four to six inch lift, kind of like what's on the dually. So I don't know, it's probably like one of those ones you can adjust or set static or whatever, which is fine. But at the same time, it's kind of like, man, I really like the way this looks. I like the way it looks like, it looks like a damn Tonka truck, doesn't it? That probably looks a little goofy to some of you truck guys, but I like the way this looks. Now, one of the main reasons I got this truck was because of the air ride, because at the time I was like, oh man, how cool is it? I just lower my tailgate down, I can load motorcycles in the bed. You know, I got my motorcycle ramps amongst other shit in there. And it seemed like a good idea at the time, and it was. It worked exactly for what I needed it to do uh, when I needed it. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna see what it looks like absolutely slammed. There's four levels to the air ride and the rams. There's off-road, which you cannot drive any faster than like 25 or 30 miles an hour. Then it'll automatically raise down to normal height. Then below that is aerodynamic. And then there's entry and exit mode, which is like slammed. So let's see what entry and exit mode looks like on this freaking thing. It probably is gonna, it's probably gonna ruin it. Is it really gonna make me start this shit? Yeah. Now we're gonna go to off-road mode, I guess. So you press these buttons here. This is your air ride. All the way up, all the way down. Let's see what off-road looks like. It looks no different. It does look a little bit higher. Not much. Can I get it to go to low now? Entry, exit, here we go. Oh, it's lowering the shit out of it in the front right now. Oh, is it gonna fucking tuck it? Is it gonna tuck it? Oh, please. Come on, baby. Oh, look at it go. Oh, come on. Just a little bit further. Boom, we're all the way down. Look, that bitch is tucked. <laughs> look at that thing, that's ridiculous. Damn, dude. Look at that bitch is squatted down. Damn, dude. Look at that, there's like, I don't think any of my other vehicles have that little clearance between the wheel and the wheel well. I can I can barely get my hand in there. I probably look like such a moron to you guys, I don't even care, this is so cool. Obviously, this is not at all how this vehicle can be run. I don't think there's any chance of this thing being able to drive like this anyway. You hit one bump, there's no way you're turning. So I think what I might do, for convenience sake right now, jack the air ride all the way back to off-road and pull the fuse and see if that keeps it there. Because normally you start going like 25 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, it's like, can't do this and it lowers back down. So I wonder if pulling the air ride fuse will uh, keep it all the way jacked up in the meantime. I think under normal, riding under normal, which would allow me to drive at any speed, I think it should be fine, but what do, what do I care? You know, it's a truck. What is it gonna do? It's gonna rub my plasticky bits that I'm probably gonna replace anyway. I'm probably gonna build a new bumper for this thing. I just think that looks fucking mean. God, that looks so cool. Fuck. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jack it back up. Let's, let's fucking, let's get it back up. There we go. Going back up. So is the back. Come on, baby. Come on up. All right, we're in off-road mode. I'm going to go ahead and torque everything to spec. Then I'm going to pull that fuse. Man, what a bitchin' look. Jesus. As per the manufacturer's uh, thing, you know, it tells me to torque these down to 130. They're... Uh, aftermarket lug nuts and aftermarket wheels, but I'm still gonna follow OEM recommendations. So we'll give that a shot. Next we got center caps, we'll put them on all four wheels.
center caps on. Wheels are torqued to spec. Everything's looking 10 out of 10. We've got it stuck completely right now at off-road height, I believe. Let me double check. Ooh, definitely takes a little bit more to get in it now. Yep. Off-road, so I'm gonna pull the fuse now, and I believe it should set itself at this height. All right, we got the fusey boy here, fuse box here. Oh man, spare diesel, we will have diesel. Power windows, power, power, power. Air suspension, KO3. Air suspension compressor. Okay, so we got air suspension relay. Air suspension modular, F50. All right, let's try this air suspension one. Um, F70s, F58, F50. Okay, is it this 20 amp? Yeah, it's this 20 amp right here. Does this thing have fuse pullers? It does, look at this right here. Give me this, it's right next to this. Gonna... All right. I believe that's our air suspension fuse that's gonna stop everything. Let's try it. Hell yeah, the air suspension's good. Service air suspension, that's fine. Perfect. I think we're good. I think that was all it was. I don't think it'll, yeah, it's not letting me press any buttons, not going up or down. <laughs> that's it, it's good to go. <laughs> We just did like an air suspension delete in two seconds, which is what I was gonna have to do anyway once I got rid of it. But she's good, let's go drive her and see how she does. I bet it's gonna rub. One more thing I did wanna show you guys before I left. Um, this is also a part of a package they sent me. Uh, it's, a wheel and, it's a wheel and tire package, Carbon Shine, the, the carbon package. They got a, a rubber, a, a renewing rubber formula they sent me, and a, uh, a quick detail spray. That's really cool, I can't wait to, uh, can't wait to test these out, see how they do. And this is a car wash. Nice. And thank you guys so much. You know, honestly, it doesn't drive bad. It drives pretty all right. I think I can hear the stickers on the tires making noise that I didn't take off because I'm lazy. Let's see. Yeah, still got plenty of pickup, man. This thing's still got it. Yeah, baby. Drive straight, too. It rubs the second before full lock on either side. Just, just like here, here's totally fine. Full lock, rub, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, shut up, I'm going 10 miles an hour. All right, no problems, no problems. No, nothing. That was fine, that's how I normally turn. Stops good too, usually when I have like uh, lifted vehicles, they, they, they tend to like rock back and forth. Had to be used to the fact that the wheels stick out like literally a six inches on either side. But damn, did this thing look good, dude. I am so stoked on this thing. Wait, is it, did it already register my tires? Yeah, look at that, it did. It already registered my tires. I didn't even have to do that. I didn't have to use a ping tool or nothing. You know what, that's another thing that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, not only is Custom Offsets a good friend of mine, but they're also a good business. They send out the wheels, if you want, mounted, balanced with tires, ready to install, like no shit. That's exactly why I was able to just throw these wheels and tires, showed up to my house, already mounted, already balanced with sensors in them. And all I had to do was throw them on. They automatically connected to this truck. I don't know how they did that. I've never had that happen before, but thank you guys on this. This this is a good fucking setup. This isn't even without, this isn't even the lift that I got either. Honestly, this isn't bad. I think with some trimming, just a little bit of plastic trimming on this truck, and this thing would be, for the most part, 100% no problem to drive. I've driven trucks daily with more rubbing than this. So I gotta say, like, that's a pretty sweet setup. 22 inch wheels on 35s, I think, on a stock air ride that I've basically deleted. All right, we got a, we got a right turn coming up. I wanna give her the old one, two, buckle my shoe. 60 degree right turn. Nothing. I mean, there's some shit flopping around the back of my truck. But hell yeah, dude. Yes, this is great. Still got plenty of get up. Shit, we can cruise 60 miles an hour. They're not loud. They're not all over the place. They're well balanced. Shit, what a good fucking deal. I've got no exhaust on this truck, like no muffler doesn't drone, got big ass wheels and tires on it that probably shouldn't go on this vehicle because it's got the air ride and it rides great. Once again, this proves to me that the Ram 1500 is just the best truck available right now.
<laughs> They're ridiculous. Hey, I do know that for the GMC, for like the Chevys and the GMCs, that you'd need like a six inch lift kit to fit these type of wheels and tires on it. You know what I'm saying? But that's coming from a GM fanboy. Still no rubbing, look at that. Almost completely full lock. Just able to do that, no big deal. All right, so here I am at the gas station. They definitely rub here, I'll show you. So right, there we go. Right. Oops. <laughs> Make the full loop. Right there. Oops, just a little burnt. You know, it just has a little bit of burnt, but only under that like full, right there. Only right there. All right. <clears throat> Majority of the rubbing is happening down here. I think that I can just, in the meantime, if I really feel like it, which I don't, um, just take an exacto knife or something like that and cut this part out and that'll probably that'll probably solve most of my rubbing issues doesn't even seem to really be happening much over here but again just some minor plastic trimming maybe even a little bit of metal trimming I don't know who really cares that stuff is easy you just chop it and yeah and there she is everybody finished I love the way this thing turned out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. You guys like this style or not? I don't know. I might not actually install a lift. I'll talk to Brandon and see what he thinks. That's a good bit. That's a good bit. That's so wide. Anyway, guys, see you in the next video. Peace.